Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another, um, not Shoutcast, but we have another meta guide to look at. This is going to be the Ultra League Premier Classic. So we have the Ultra League Premier Classic as well as the Ultra League uh, going on. So uh, yeah, we're going to dive right into this. So this league, you cannot use XL Pokemon. You can only use Pokemon up to level 40. So anything above that, I mean, you can best buddy something to level 41, I guess. But anything with... A single XL cannot be used in this cup, so that's going to be good for the majority of trainers, right? Uh, but either way, yeah, it's, this is um, probably going to be very similar to last season's Ultra League Premier Classic, but we do have a new um, Pokemon to look out for, and that's going to be Warrior. So let's go ahead and dive right into uh, this guide and see what we've got going for us. Uh, so for the S plus tier, we do have the number one spot going to be Warrior, uh, Shadow Warrior, or the regular one. Both of them are really good. Uh, by the way, got a lot of this information from pvpokey.com. Highly recommend them. Uh, definitely use them as a resource whenever I make these guides. But either way, uh, I like making these graphics, and I know a lot of you appreciate them, so thank you so much for continuing to watch them, and I plan on making them more often uh, with each new cup. Definitely going to make one for the H Love Cup as well, uh, and, you know, the Johto Cup, moving forward and everything, right? But either way, Ultra League Premier Classic with Warrior being the number one spot, it's, it's definitely going to be really good. Powder Snow, Icicle Spear, so fast. You guys see it in the Great League. It is good for all three leagues, Great, Ultra, and Master. That is insane. But, um... Yeah, so hopefully you got a good one on Spiel Community Day. Then we have Trevenant, a really good Pokemon in this meta. Uh, it is weak to Warvian, but it also can go head-to-head -head with it with Seed Bomb. It's doing super effective damage. Also taking a lot as well, though, but at least it has some play against Warvian. Uh, then we have Swampit or Shadow Swampit. Both of them are really solid. Swampit's been around pretty much, not pretty much, it's been around since the beginning of Go Battle League, right? So uh, you know how good Swamp it is. And then Escavalier, another great Pokemon. Um, this Pokemon is just so good. Uh, yeah, just so good, so solid. Um, it's it's a counter user, but it doesn't have the fighting type weaknesses like Charm because it's also a Steel type, so it's a Steel and Bug type. It's not it's not a fighting type, so not going to be weak to that. Uh, so definitely a really solid Pokemon, uh, one that you probably are familiar with, I'm certainly familiar with. I did really well uh, with this Pokemon a few seasons ago. Before XLs became a thing, I did well with uh, Escavalier. Uh, then we have the S tier, which is going to be Needle Queen or Shadow Needle Queen. Both are really good. I, I do think the Shadow is probably a little bit better, but maybe it depends on the team you are using. Um, it does have to watch out for Warrior. I feel like it was better last season, but it's still a really good Pokemon. Uh, then we have Shadow Machamp. Uh, you could use the regular one as well, but again, I love the damage from the Shadow Pokemon. The extra 20% damage. Even though they're more frail, they're still really solid, and I absolutely love this Pokemon. And I've used it uh, as well, and I'm sure you guys have. Because again, it's been around for multiple seasons now. Not just in the Ultra League, but also the Great League. Next up, we have Obstagoon. Obstagoon is another great pick, of course. You, I'm sure you've seen this. Double weak to fighting, though, so it does have to watch out for that. Uh, and, of course, Charm is just going to eat right through it. So it does have weaknesses, but it can also wall a lot of Pokemon. For example, it does well against Trevenant. Um, and it's also going to do well, well against Wolverine because of the fighting counter damage plus Crush Chop if you're running Crush Chop. I personally prefer that moveset, Crush Chop and Night Slash. Going to do well against the Wolverine. So really a solid Pokemon there. Next up, we have the A tier. We have another fighter. We have uh, Surfetched. I feel like the Machamp is better. I feel like the S Cavalier. I feel like Obstacle. I just like those Pokemon a little bit more. Um, Surfetched is, is really good. It's really strong. It's really, really, really frail. But it's still really strong. So it is a fighting type you can definitely use. Um, I personally don't have a whole lot of experience with Surfetched. I haven't used it too often, but I have tried it out, and it is a strong Pokemon, but it does need to hide behind shields for the most part. Then we have uh, what I consider to be the best charm user in this meta, going to be Sylveon. We have other options like Togekiss, Clefable, but I think uh, Sylveon is probably the best one. So if you're going for a charm user, Sylveon probably the way to go. Uh, then we have Venusaur. Venusaur has been standard uh, for a very long time. It does so much damage. We recently had a repeat Bulbasaur Community Day. It does so much damage with Frenzy Plant. Uh, you know, the Sludge Bomb. Just such a great moveset. Hopefully you got one. I got a decent one. I didn't get a rank 1, unfortunately. But I got a decent one this previous Community Day. So, uh, really great Pokemon. Uh, yeah, really good Pokemon. And then we have Shadow Lapras or the regular Lapras. Definitely solid. Uh, I feel like Wolverine is probably going to take Lapras's place as the top Ice-type attacker. 
But, um, you know, it, it, Lapis definitely still has its play. Uh, I'm going to definitely be trying out Wolverine, but, but Lapis de definitely has its play, and I've seen this quite a bit in previous seasons, uh, even in the XL era, you know, when you could use XL Pokemon. Uh, then we have Crobat. I think Crobat is a great Pokemon. Um, it, it did quite uh, well last season. It does have to watch out for Wolverine now, but last season it did really well. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it is we yeah, so those, those are basically the S plus S and ATS So some of the best Pokemon in the Ultra League Premier Classic at least in my opinion and the other choices We do have we do have Magnet Zone. We do have Gliscor, Snorlax, Polyrath So some fighting type we have one fighting type Polyrath again Probably the weakest of the fighters the S plus S and ATF fighters probably a little bit better But Polyrath is fun Snorlax definitely uh, solid uh, very bulky Pokemon, right? Uh, Gliscor we've seen in the Sinnoh Cup. Uh, I don't think Gliscor is as good, but uh, still definitely a Pokemon we've seen in uh, the Sinnoh Cup. And Magnezone, of course, uh, you guys know Magnezone. Uh, Magnezone is also in the Sinnoh Cup, and it's just such a, a strong Pokemon. Uh, but there's a lot of fighting type options in this meta. It really has to watch out for that. But um, it's, it's definitely a pretty solid pick. If it has the right matchup, it does really well. Another charm user, Togekiss. Again, I think Sylveon is better, but Togekiss is a solid pick as well. Uh, especially if you're going double charm, you probably go Togekiss, Sylveon. I know a lot of trainers don't like double charm, but it's, it's you know, it's a legitimate team. You could run it. Uh, and then we have uh, Alolan Muck. Uh, Alolan Muck. You know, gonna be pretty solid. I think it's probably gonna be used more so in the open ultra for like Giratina and things like that. But I, it could hit pretty hard with Sludge. Wave. Well, it depends what moveset you're going with. If you're going with Poison Jab, uh, Acid Spray, right, which generally is the more common moveset, you're gonna do well against the, the fairy types like Charm users. But if you're going Snarl, Dark Pulse, Sludge Wave, gonna hit a little bit harder. Then we have um, Dragalge. Dragalge, um, I think this probably could have went in the AT. I think Dragalge with Dragon Tail, really powerful. Again, pretty, pretty frail, but really powerful, doing a lot. Getting to Aqua Tails really fast, so it can, it's, a, it's a great safe swap. I love Dragalge as a safe swap. Then we have Gyarados, pretty good Pokemon as well. Dragonite, I used Dragonite to hit Legend uh, in the Ultra League in Season 6. I think that may have been before XLs were a thing. I used the Double Dragon with Kingdra. I didn't put Kingdra on this list, but Kingdra's amazing as well. So it was Empoleon, Double Dragon. But again, I, I don't think that's as good, especially now with Warrior. Uh, it was good back then. I hit Legend with that. As I said, I think it was Season 6. But uh, Warrior uh, is just going to be way too common, I think. Uh, yeah, so uh, then we have Charizard. What are the few fire types? Uh, not the only one because you could use Cantonian Ninetales, right? But one of the few uh, fire types uh, that you'll see. Uh, probably Typhlosion is another one as well, which I guess I didn't put on this list, but um, you might see that. Uh, and then we have Milotic. Milotic with Dragon Tail, super super bulky, super powerful. And Polyon, we kind of already talked about Poly and Polyon. So that's going to be the other choices I have there. All these solid Pokemon, solid team options. We do have a team that I've seen uh, a couple streamers use. I would I would have loved to use it this season, but then Wolverian became a thing. It's going to be Obstagoon, double poison. So the reason Wolverian is a problem for this team is because the back line is weak to ice, right? Crobat is a flying type, so it's weak to ice. Needle Queen is a ground type, so it's weak to ice. And Wolverian, Powder Snow, super effective. Uh, and then Icicle Spear, super effective as well. So, gonna be taking, uh, gonna have, gonna definitely struggle, gonna definitely struggle. However, that's why you have Obstagoon as the lead with counter damage, and gonna be doing a lot. So, what you could do is, you could possibly bait out the Wolverian, uh, maybe safe swap into Crobat. Uh, and then bait it out, and if they do come in with it, at the end of the day, you're still the damage is still adding up, right? Because you could you could survive, um, uh, you could survive an icicle spear, and then you could just get off a lot of damage with the fast moves as well as poison fang. So uh, I, I still think this team is really really good, and this team honestly I want to use this team as well. I don't have a, a shadow needle queen, but I have a, a regular one that I could use uh, with this team. So I, I probably will be trying out this team to be honest with you. Uh, then we have uh, another really good team. We have Wolverian, uh, pretty much as a safe swap, and we have Trevenant in the lead, and then Sylveon. So I think this uh, could be a pretty good team. Um, you know, of course, Wolverian going to be neutral to Wolverian, right? Uh, Trevenant c does have play against Wolverian, and Sylveon can charm it all the way. Um, Icicle Spears going to do a good amount of damage, but I think this is a pretty solid team. 
Um, yeah, I mean, Wolverine, I think, is going to be a, a great safe swap. E because here's the thing, like, even if they switch, even if you, let's say you safe swap into Wolverine, they uh, s uh, switch into a fighting type. That's not going to be great, right? But you can still spam those Icicle Spears, probably get off two of them depending on the fighting type. You may even force a shield if it's a really frail uh, fighting type, right? For example, Shadow Machamp. If you can get off two Icicle Spears, you might not be able to because Machamp might be able to get off the Crush Chop, but maybe you can get a shield there. And uh, yeah, so I, I think Wolverine is a pretty safe swap. And then we have uh, probably the weakest team of the three. We have Escavalier with Double Grass. Now this team is super weak to fighting. So if you uh, not fighting, fire. So if you see like a Charizard, uh, you're gonna you're gonna struggle. Charizard or Typhlosion, uh, probably the two fire types. The reason I put this team together is because I feel like fire types are not gonna be that common. But um, if we do see a fire type. This team is definitely going to struggle, so maybe if, if you want to go for a fun team, I think this could could handle itself well. Of course, the yes, Escavalier doing well against um, the Wolverine, and then uh, Venusaur and Trevenant. Again, they have play against Wolverine, even though Wolverine also has play against those two grass types. I think it, it could be a good team, uh, as long as you don't see a fire type. But again, if you see a fire type, it's probably going to be uh, game over. But, um, you know, that, that's a team, if you're going for a fun team, that could be an interesting one to go with. But I think the best one, probably going to be the Obstagoon, Double Poison. Uh, but I'm also, honestly, I'm liking the second team with Trevenant, uh, as well as Warrior and Sylveon. So, uh, let me know what team you plan on going with. Are you playing in the Open Ultra League or the Ultra League Premier Classic? I'm really interested to hear what you have to say. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.